Monograms are back in vogue again, and they are a quick and easy way to embellish gifts and upcycle garments. I'm Linda Goodall, and in this video, I'll show you how to create a monogram in Hatch. This monogram took me about one minute to make. Let me show you how in a new document. You control N to create a new document. Then on the lettering and monogramming toolbox, we'll open that and I'll click on monogramming. The monogramming docker opens up and you can see more than 85 preset templates. I'm going to click on monogramming design so we can see all of them. And I'm going to scroll down, look at how, how many we have here. And the one I want is down near the bottom. So I'll just click it. Then I need to change the letters. I'll go to the letters tab and type in my initials, MGL. And I think I want a different font, so I'll pick Algerian. And I want to change its color. So I'm going to Alt-click on the letters and pick a color from my color bar. There's my monogram. I'm going to double-click on the monogram to bring us back to the monogramming docker. And we're going to look at some of these tabs. So the Designs tab is where you can pick a pre-made template. And we have Borders and Ornaments. We have Borders. We have Simple, which is just your letters. And we have the Urban Collection, which is a fancier set. You just saw me use letters, and that's where we add our letters. But we can also change our lettering style. So for example, if I click on this, notice how my monogram over here changes. So just because I'm using a pre-made template doesn't mean I can't change the style. While the pre-made templates give you plenty of choices, you can also create your own. Let's do a quick one. I'll do Control N to create a new document. And on the Letters tab, I'll enter in some letters. We'll just do ABC. And I'll pick a style. Let's do round. I'm not wild about this color. It's using this color because this is the current color, or the active color. Let's choose red. Then I'll add some ornaments. Click Add. On the Ornaments tab, we'll use From Motif. And I'm going to just scroll down and pick one. There are plenty in here. You can see that I'm only part way down in the line there. Click OK. And I need to tell it how to lay it out. And we can use pre-made templates, or we can kind of design our own. I'll use this pre-made one. There's our ornaments. Now let's add a border. Click Add. I'll just pick this one. Once again, we have lots of options here. Click OK. I'll change that color. Hold down the Alt key. Click on it. Pick a color. Double click on your monogram to get back to the monogramming docker. That's how fast it is. Now if we go to the Borders tab, you can add up to four borders. Now they're all going to be whatever shape you choose. But each border can have a different stitch effect applied. So we have a satin border here. We might add a triple stitch border around that. We might put a fill inside this. We can do all kinds of fancy things. So for example, this heart border was created using the monogramming toolbox. Let's look a moment on the sequence bar. Can you see this teeny tiny icon here? This indicates that this is a compound object. These are all linked together. It's a sort of a special kind of grouping. If we wanted to split it apart, we would need to do break apart over here on the lettering and monogramming toolbox. That would break them out into individual components. We could still work with it, but it will no longer be a monogramming object. So if you plan on making a bunch of these, maybe say for your family or for maybe your customers, and you want to save this as a, a template that your customer can pick from, you want to save it as a monogramming object so that when you bring it up the next time, it's still the same shape, all the pieces are held together, and you can just change the colors and change the letters. And that's just how simple it is to create a monogram. As a reminder, be sure to save the EMB file when you create your initial files so you have full editing capabilities. You can easily reuse your monogram for a different set of initials simply by changing the letters on the Letters tab in the Monogramming Docker, and you saw me do that earlier on.